Hi, this is Karen Peters with Renovated Faith, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to spray paint patio furniture like a pro. Be sure to refer back to the blog post that goes along with this video tutorial for all the source information and extra details. And here's the piece of wrought iron patio furniture we're going to be refinishing today. The table was actually my grandmother's and she had it on her back porch greenhouse and it was actually a sage green many, many years ago. And today I'm going to be spray painting it in a slate blue color. The first step is to clean your patio furniture really well. I'm always tempted to skip this step, but you want to get any dirt or mold or anything that would keep the spray paint from sticking. And I really like to use Crud Cutter, the formula for tough tasks. The next step is to sand your furniture piece. This does two things. It loosens any peeling paint that is already about to flake off. And it also uh, buffs up any smooth areas that spray paint might have a hard time adhering to. If you don't have an electric sander like this one, you can also use a wire brush to uh, rough up the surface and remove peeling paint or you can use a putty knife to remove peeling paint. Whatever works best for you to remove all the extra paint off the table surface. When you're done with this step, wipe down the table with a damp rag to remove any sanding dust. Before we prime our furniture piece, prep the area. Always spray paint in a well-ventilated area. You can paint directly on your grass. I'm using an old sign to put my table on top of. You can use cardboard or an old sheet. And I like to spray paint the bottom of my furniture pieces first, so put them top down. Now is an, a great time to also replace any of the leg tips or end caps that might be in bad shape. For metal furniture in rough shape with a lot of rust, like my patio table here, I like to use a primer and I'm using Rust-Oleum's bonding primer first before spray painting it. And I'm just getting a light coat on. Be sure to shake the can for at least a minute before priming. And you don't wanna worry about getting full coverage on this step. I like to prop up furniture projects on soup cans so I can get to the end of the legs easily. I just did one coat of spray primer on the bottom and top of my table. If you accidentally get too much paint in one area, you will notice little bubbles come up to the surface. You can fix this by immediately swiping with your finger, preferably one with a glove on, uh, swiping off that top layer of paint that you just sprayed on and that will keep it from dripping later. Finally, add some new cushions and you're done. For the price of a few cans of spray paint, you have a patio furniture set that looks brand new and you can be sure that the paint finish will last for many years to come. For all the details of this post and a supply list, be sure to go to renovatedfaith.com.